Today on the show, we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Disney's DuckTales Scrooge McDuck action figure. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV where all geek culture collides. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. As I said, today we're going to be taking a look at the Funko Disney DuckTales Scrooge McDuck collectible action figure. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Disney's DuckTales. DuckTales is an American animated television series produced by Walt Disney. Originally released between September 18th, 1987 until November 28th, 1990 with 100 episodes. When Donald Duck decides to join the U.S. Navy, he enlists his uncle Scrooge McDuck to look after his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Although reluctant to do so to their hyperactivity, along with his continual pursuit of increasing his wealth and maintaining harsh business ethics, he eventually warms to them upon seeing how smart and resourceful they are, and takes them into his manor as well as on a number of adventures. The original DuckTales series starred Alan Young as Scrooge McDuck, Tony Anselmo as Donald Duck, and Russie Taylor as Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby. The show had a number of spin-offs and related shows including Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, Goof Troop, and Quack Pack. It also spun off a very successful animated movie, DuckTales the Movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. In 2017, Disney XD produced a reboot series starring David Tennant as Scrooge McDuck after the death of Alan Young on May 19, 2016. Young, who was famous for his role as Wilbur on the 1960s sitcom Mr. Ed, portrayed Scrooge McDuck from 1983 in Mickey's Christmas Carol until his death in 2016. His final voice appearance as the character was on the show Mickey Mouse in the episode No. He also voiced the character in the video games DuckTales the video game from Capcom which was released on September 14, 1989, Disney's Think Fast in 2008, 2009's Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, 2013's Disney Magical World and 2013's DuckTales Remastered, which was a re-release slash redo of the original Capcom video game. I played it very fun. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this box or this package. As you can tell, it's, tell it's a standard uh, clamshell package. You got the same uh, the same Funko background that's on the DuckTales Funko Pops. As you can see here, it's exactly the same, just extended extended a bit. Uh, and in the video game, the remastered video game, you do run into these guys. Uh, very fun game. Um, however, let's go ahead. We're gonna set these guys to the back. Let's take a look at the back. Pretty much the same thing. You got some warnings here in different languages nothing else really uh, i would have liked to see a display of the different figures in the line that funko had uh, that would have been really nice but i can understand why they didn't so let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look tried to be as careful as i could with the package because i would like to keep the cardstock probably display it just like that from the back but here's scrooge and first things first when you get him out of the package he comes just like this. Now, if you try to stand him up just like this, he, he falls backward. So you've got to angle his feet out to the sides, just like that. And he'll stand perfectly. Now, taking a look at the articulation, his head is on a ball joint. He can move up and down, side to side, all the way around. Uh, his hat does not come off, neither do his glasses. Uh, his glasses are actually a transparent plastic. You can actually see his eyes through there. Uh, unlike, well, I guess the funk, the pop is uh, similar. Uh, these glasses are a lot clearer, though, as you can see there. Uh, the Funko Pop, the pop glasses are a little bit more foggy. Very nice. You see his tongue there and his beak. Uh, they got the coloring perfect. I always liked the blue. Well, yeah, they they got it more perfect on this one than on that one. That's a darker blue on the on the pop, whereas this is more screen accurate. Uh, I always preferred the blue coat with the red lining over the red coat that was in the comics and the current uh, DuckTales show. Uh, I just thought it looked better. 
So anyway, his arms can go up just like that. Just like that. And go back down. They can rotate around all the way. All right. You got a bend at the elbow, but be careful. It is tight. I wouldn't want you guys to break it. Uh, there is no swivel at the wrist. Uh, there, there is waist swivel. Be careful, it was kind of tight though. Alright. Then you got swivels at the legs. They can go all the way around. Um, but like I said, the only way you're going to get them to stand is... Let me show you. Alright. This is how he comes right out of the package. His feet straight forward. Uh, but he's very back heavy. So you just angle him out just a little bit. Just like that. He'll stand perfectly. Alright. Uh, next, he comes with his cane. Which he's shown in the series he doesn't really need. But he uses it not only as a, wa as a walking stick, but also... <laughs> um, in the video game he uses it to jump up and down on um, to bounce get some height uh, he uses it kinda as a grappling hook type deal you can slide down or grab people with it um, so that's the only reason he uses it it's kind of a multi-purpose tool and he comes with his money bag which fits in his other hand just like that very nice um, <clears throat> I don't see any paint bleeding at all uh, I don't see any scuff marks uh, there's his number and his code and everything on the back made in China Funko LLC 2017 copyright Disney so now let's back up a little bit and see him alongside the other Scrooge McDucks in my collection. We have the Pocket Pop Keychain Scrooge McDuck. We have the Diecast Metal Scrooge McDuck. Of course we have the Funko Collectible Action Figure Scrooge McDuck. And the Funko Pop Scrooge McDuck. And of course we also have the DVD. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, my friends.